God bless you. I love you. I love you too, sister. I don't even know your name, but I okay, love you. My name is Leslie. I always send you a message. Like, I love you, Martin. I'm from oh. Chicago, but I'm okay. in Iowa right now. I've been okay. in Iowa about 15 years now. Okay. I um, give an applaud for the lady that just left off of the live. Mm. I totally understand because I'm in the same boat. Mm. Um, I have two children. I'm 39 years old. Okay. My daughter just made 19. My son would have been 22 on Monday. You hear what I said? Would have been. Would have been, yeah. I just laid my son to rest October to, uh, November the 5th in Chicago. Yeah, my condol okay, so this is what I want to say. My son had his first um, baby at age 15. He left two boys, one age six and one age two. He has bitter baby mamas. Mm. When I say these, these young ladies get mad, my son, he had to be a father at 15. And I told him, I said, as long as I live, I'm going to help you and assist you. Because you don't know what's going on, but I got you. My baby, my son, took care of his sons, always wanted to be in their lives. We even bought Christmas presents and birthday gifts and couldn't even see the kids because of the bitter baby mamas. Mm, mm, mm. One baby mother always said, I wish you died because he didn't want to be with her. See, this is the problem. When the son, you know, as you're getting older, you're young, they, she go be with somebody else, have a new boyfriend, and he got to, you know, they're growing up. This, they always said things like that. Even I couldn't see my grandchildren. So as we go, as life go on, we would buy gifts for Christmas, birthdays. And I mean, if we have to go sit at a McDonald's and go meet the babies, you know, because we didn't, you know, we made sure we did the best we could to see, uh, my son did the best he could to see his kids. But you cannot take a blessing and good things for granted because my son is gone. He loved his boys. And now they're walking around upset. Bitter baby, bitter baby mamas. They're upset with themselves. They're walking around angry before my son passed away. He was murdered. And as while he was here, they didn't give him no respect. They didn't let him see his kids. They didn't even let me see the kids. All he wanted was to see his kids. I held my son at night when he cried, Mama, I just want to see my babies, Mama. Why do it have to be this way? Mm. Now, my son is with the Lord and he can see his children anytime he get ready. Bitter baby mamas, these young women need to stop being so angry and upset and mad for no reason at all. Now, when I had my kids, they had the same father. He was out there in them streets doing whatever he wanted to do, didn't care. All he cared about was, his, was himself. But I never spoke bad about my kid's father. And still to this day, he's still selfish and thinking about himself. So you got some men that, that's out there, but, but when they get older, they try, they do better. They, they don't know no better at the time, but they do better. Hit him on the other hand, no. So I still never spoke bad, even though my, kid, my kids grow up, they had to make their own decisions. Say, Mama, I don't want to be around the mom. Or they, st they still press their way to be around their father. I never spoke bad, never spoke bad because I, I want that father in my kid's life. I always wanted that. But I was so independent. I took care of my kids. I worked. I never spoke bad about him. He'll pop up out the blue. Hey, how my kids doing? And I would say, oh, we live here. Come see him. He was always welcome to come see his kids. So now he have a lot of regret and guilt because now his only son, first son, is, is up there with the Lord. So I just say to the young women, please stop being bitter. Allow the men to be in their sons and daughters' lives, please. It is not that serious because when you take a good thing, a wonderful thing for granted, you don't think about that God can come get them. And they won't be here anymore. You ain't got nobody to argue with. You ain't got nobody to manipulate with their cheap children. So allow these men to be in these children's life. I just wanted to get on here and say that, Martin, because I, I know what's going on. Now, these young ladies, like you said, is, is upset and angry because of how they conceived the baby. You mm -hmm. know, and you mad and you taking it through the, you know, with the father. And he ain't got, I mean, come on, if he want to be there. Man, I wish my kid's father was there. I had to raise man by myself.
-hmm. in Chicago, I've been here 15 years, but I had to raise mine by myself and do everything I had to do for my kids. Mm. So I, I just I just beg and please for the women, stop being so bitter, please, and just allow that man, because my son is gone, and I bet you his two baby mothers right now is so, they, they bitter, they this hurt because he's gone. Now what you gonna do when he was living? You didn't allow him to see them kids. That's sad. And he beg, oh, he, he used to beg, Mark, please, oh, please, I can hear him on the phone. He'll put him on speaker. If he didn't want to smoke weed with him, that, oh, well, I got to see when I can figure out when you can see your kids. If he didn't want to go lay up with one, oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to be available for you to see your son. Oh, I heard it all. Mm -hmm. I heard it all. He used to cry. I used to hold my son just to see a man cry. Oh, mama, I just want to smell my kids. I just want to hold my son's mama. Just for an hour or two, that's all I want. So now, he's not here anymore. See, these women don't think about, what if he's not here anymore? Then what I'm going to do? So now my two grandkids are without a father. But see, he can see them kids whenever he get ready to. Mm -hmm. God is going to allow that. So I love you, Martin. I watch you all the time. And you see when I'm in my bonnet, you that's see I have my little head done. Yeah, but I love you so much. Yeah. And there are women like me and the lady that just got off. Never pull the kids away from the father. But you do have bitter baby mamas like my sons. Two baby mamas would never let them see. And it's only convenient when it's convenient for them. Oh, I can bring them over there this oh, to tomorrow at this time, you know. And they show up half naked, you know, little stuff like that. And my son said, Mama, you know she showed up half naked. I say, What? This, this is what it's all about, you know? So please, the women out there, please stop being bitter because you can lose your baby's father Say it. anytime, anytime. And then what you're going to do? Yeah, say it, sister. You know? So yeah. I'm a woman of God. I, I'm telling you, I, I trust God. But I, I'm still mourning right now because it just happened. My son was yeah. murdered on October the 19th. But I trust God because I know he's with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we don't, and I say, well, this is the reason why my, my God started my son off having kids early. Because I say, at 15, mm -hmm. God knew he was going to come get him. And he wanted to, for him to leave something behind. So I just thank God, even though I've seen my grandkids one time, just one of the grandchildren, one time since my son passed away. And mm -hmm. I, the, 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 he's the one I'm still being a bit of baby mama. So I just pray that she get, she get her mind right. Because mm -hmm. I'm grandma, I'm going to be there regardless, you know, as long as I can, as long Beautiful. as I live. Beautiful. Okay, Beautiful. so I love you, Mark. I, I love you, baby. Listen, you have my condolences for your son. I'm so Thank sorry. Thank you. You know, y'all know I'm the crime kids. I follow crime. It's just, it's ridiculous. We just don't love each other. Thank you. And see, he, he got, he was, he was, um, his life was taken in Iowa, mm -hmm. Fort Madison, Iowa. I'm from Chicago, so I had his services in Chicago. So, okay. yeah, but I'm telling you, I, I know he's in heaven, but I, I, I know he can see. He, he said, Mama, I can see him anytime I get ready right now. I can see him. I ain't got to cry no more. I don't have to beg no more. I don't have to be turned down and, and they telling me, no, I can't see him. You know, he just wanted to see his sons. He got the, the beautiful sons. But just, I just want these baby mamas to stop being so bitter because I was never a bitter baby mama. Even, I'm tell, even when my kids got older, I, you know, I say, just let them. Just let him come. He'll come to you. You know, he'll come to you. Every now and then he'll call or text him and stuff like that. So I, I just, I want the mother, the young women, please, please stop being so bitter because you can't hide a man because, you know, y'all done moved on and you're still upset or whatever. Come on. And then you're mad because he had another baby by another woman when y'all ain't even, ain't even in a relationship for many years. So it's a lot of that going on, Martin, and it needs to stop. It needs Think to stop. about it. He, he could be gone. Yeah. He can be gone. The father of your children can be gone. And what are you going to do? All you're going to be able to depend on is your the grandmother, the father's mother. You know? And, and so uh, I'm not going to deal with it, though. See, I, my son would say, Mama, they going to come around. Because I used to say, go take them to court. Take them to court. You got rights. You have father's rights. See, the young men don't want to go through the process because they don't want to hurt the women. But go through that. I'm going to go through that process because, see, I'm the spokesman of my son. I'll take them to court if they don't want me to see my grandkids. I'm not going through that. 
But my son, he said, Mama, no, they'll come, they'll come around, Mama. They'll come around. And they and they never did. Now my son is gone. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. hopefully they'll come around this time. Mm -hmm. You know, so I love you, Marty. And there's like, some good women. There's some good women out there because I'm one of the ones. I'm kind of old fashioned. My my grandmother raised me. I'm kind of old fashioned. But old fashioned is all right. It's, it's sometimes good too. You That's, know, because we. You know. You live yeah, so come on now. I'm a little old fashioned. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. I'm a little old. My grandmother raised me. My mother passed when I was a younger little girl. So oh. she raised me on 62nd and Union right there, Miss Louise. Matter of fact, she had just passed my grandmother, rest in peace, right after my son passed. So I was in Chicago a couple times for funerals. Oh. But, you know, I thank God for the woman that God, that my, my grandmother raised because I wouldn't be the woman that I am now if she wasn't hard on me like she was. I couldn't run the street. Now, mm -hmm. I did when I got out, you know. I <laughs> got a chance to get out saying, but you know, other than that, she raised, you know, I wouldn't be how I am now if it wasn't for my grandmother. And I was able to t bring my kids up the way I was raised. My daughter, she's 19, beautiful young lady. I don't have any problem out of it. So, it, you know, it depends on the, the deep grounded raising up and it, yeah. and it continues, it continues. So I just pray that it continues in my daughter when she have her children. And, it should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, girl. I love you. Thank you. Uh, I love you. I love you. You'll be you see me on there when I say um hey as you say hey Leslie Bro, I say I love you, Marcus. I do. Okay. Well, I do. All right. I need that encouragement. Thank you so much. Okay. Keep Bye -bye. on doing you. All right. Bless you. All right. Bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.